Hi, Chris, Peninsula Hauling and Demolition Company, once again, uh, here in San Jose, California. What we have is obviously a fire, I mean a building, a commercial building that uh, caught on fire, approximately 40,000 square feet. Not exactly sure how it uh, caught fire, but as you see, it was a major, major one. Uh, we're out here with a um, uh, gentleman by the name of Tony with um, a construction company and they've asked us to provide them with an estimate to clean this place up in its entirety. Uh, debris, uh, framing that you see here, uh, office uh, areas within the commercial building and structure along with all of these glue lamps that support the building. Um, there's also a possibility, once we clean it out, uh, that we may have to remove the structure in its entirety due to structural uh, reasons. We're not exactly sure yet. We're not sure whether or not this place will be able to be salvaged, or the walls, I should say, will be able to be salvaged. So uh, that will be determined once... Uh, the uh, building is cleaned up. At this point, we're just out now giving him an estimate to determine what it will take in order to clean this place up. This is a disaster. Okay, once we finish with all the interior and the exterior cleaning, we will come in with uh, high-powered pressure washers and we will pressure wash the interior of the structure in addition to the exterior of the uh, structure just for sanitation purposes. Wow, this is amazing. I've seen quite a bit in my time, but this is substantial. Substantial, substantial. And also, uh, let me note that no one was injured in this fire. By the way, this uh, was two or three different businesses. Uh, one of the businesses uh, was a carpet company that sold, uh, or I should say a flooring company that sold uh, carpeting and uh, all types of uh, flooring is what it was. Where we are now is in a one of the offices here uh, of the flooring company and it looks like this is where they ran operations out of and uh, it literally, the roof has collapsed. And uh, this is an office desk that you see here quite naturally and the roof is literally sitting on top of it. Now into one of the warehouses here that was uh, damaged and uh, boy, this is uh, this is scary. All the electrical, all the plumbing, all the HVAC, which is heating and air conditioning, will all have to be removed. Once we're completed with this project, it will be four walls in its entirety. Uh, this parking lot here that you see which is an asphalt parking lot will be pressure washed and cleaned as well.
coming around to the back of the building and uh, this looks like it was just a storage area where uh, they kept uh, trailers and supplies and miscellaneous things. It doesn't look like this was damaged too bad. It looks like the fire was primarily in the uh, in the front of the uh, the building. Looks like someone had a uh, old Chevrolet pickup truck here. They were in the process of uh, restoring. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what that is. commercial seating specialist so one of the other businesses was a uh, was a um, seating specialist and made seats booths fabrication tables and chairs for the restaurant business in addition to uh, uh, any uh, commercial Oh God, Tony! That is. It looks a, like you got four foot glue lamps there, uh -huh. three foot there, uh, <laughs> and then some of them are just barely hanging there. Oh man! But you see, right up of all the doorways right here. Uh huh. How it cracked all the concrete. Oh, all your hairlines. Huh? Yeah, yeah. It looks okay. like all the concrete got cracked right there on all these uh -huh. locations. So. Uh huh. Yeah. Not only did they, not only did they get cracked, but some of these walls look like they're bowed. Yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. But, but yeah. the first step is to, to gut it. Shore it up, got it, uh -huh. power spread so that all the damage can be seen. And then the next step probably will be to go ahead and demo the whole damn thing. Uh -huh. And uh, Tony, excuse yes. me for asking the same question twice, but uh, you said, give me the give me the measurements once again. Uh, it's uh, two, 240 this way. 240 this and way. And 140 that way. 240, 140. Okay, got 240, it. I'm just, this time I'm recording it. Okay. It comes out Excellent. to 30,800. 30,800 square feet, so approximately 40,000 square feet. Yes, and I don't know the height of the wall. Uh, 20s? I'm thinking 16 to 18. Okay, yeah, okay, no, you're right. They're 18, but I'm not 100%. Okay, positive. you're right on the money. Who are these guys, Tony? Uh, that is a parcel of the building owner. Okay. The guy in the kickback clothes and the handyman outfit. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> and love this it. is the this insurance agency. It's everybody okay. coming in, they're doing all their claims. And okay. But see, I like all the windows. They're gonna have to get the wet stuff to the frames will right. get knocked out. Right. Just oh, and then on the very back side, mm -hmm. you want to yank all the ivy out that's been burned and pulled off the building on the far okay. on the back wall.
Buddy. <laughs> we already moved out, so we didn't. Oh, you didn't. Like you didn't feel a pinch, huh? So we're looking at like that ivy. That oh, okay. Do away with it, Anton. Nasty. What's gonna happen with stuff back here? I'm not 100 sure, but I don't think I would be part of the part of the group. Okay. No worries. I'm sure this company will come back and get all this stuff. And then uh, power wash that wall. You can look as well, better. okay. Yeah. Even though it's not part of this building, it's... It's know, still, well, you know, yeah. Fire damage. Absolutely. 